All right, we're going to get started. Thank you all for joining us this morning. Uh, my name is Dwayne Pruitt, and I want to welcome you to the spring induction for the Beta of South Carolina chapter of Phi Beta Kappa at Walford College. We meet here today to admit a group of dedicated and accomplished students uh, into Phi Beta Kappa in a ceremony with elements that date back to the founding of our nation. Our new inductees will join an organization whose members blaze trails in all walks of life. Presidents and poets, innovators and activists, Nobel laureates and field medalists, united together in valuing the breadth and depth of their undergraduate education. It is our honor to present these candidates today and welcome them in this first step of their lifelong relationship with Phi Beta Kappa. Please stand as you are able as our members elect process to their seats. The guide will present the candidates. Mr. President, members of Phi Beta Kappa and friends, I have the honor to present the following persons who agreeably to our invitation here present themselves for initiation. Thank you. Our candidates. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can't see that far. I'm old. Over here. Thank you. Our candidates for membership will remain standing while our other guests may be seated. According to Phi Beta Kappa documents dating from 1779, the president of Alpha Chapter greeted members elect as follows. This society was founded by a few friends. At first, it was confined to a small number of very worthy students. They planted the scion from which has grown this tree that now buds before your eyes with blossoms of harmony and concord. It was engrafted on the stock of friendship and the soil of virtue, enriched by literature. To cherish and keep it alive have been the constant care of those members who have succeeded. You are about to become one of those successors. It is our hope that you in turn will strive to perpetuate the spirit of this greeting in your individual lives and in your communities. To you who have been elected to membership in course, in accordance with the rules of this chapter and in consequence of our good opinion of your intellectual and moral character, supported by your record of high attainment in the college, you have been selected as worthy of becoming members of Phi Beta Kappa. Your names have been submitted to the scrutiny of the constitutional electors of the, of the chapter and have met with their approval. You have been formally notified of your election and by your presence here, you signify your desire to be enrolled as members of this ancient and honorable society. Therefore, I now inquire, do you solemnly promise that you will be true and faithful to Phi Beta Kappa, uphold its standards, obey its laws, and seek to reflect credit upon your affirmation with this venerable fellowship of learners? If so, please answer, I do. I do. Please be seated. The chapter sec secretary, Dr. Philip Stone, will now will call the roll. I ask, I ask each member to stand as I call your name and come forward while a resident member of the chapter reads the citation on your behalf. Then you should sign the roll and we will present you with your key and certificate. After that, you may return to your seats and relax. Um, and so I will um, shuffle all of my papers. I promise we have done this before. <laughs> so we have three members of the class of 2023. Members are eligible for a semester after they've graduated. And so we have three members of the class of 2023 who were elected this spring. Um, and those are Juliana Bennett Brooks, 
Hannah Alexander Dudley and Roxanne Sam Middlestadt. Those are, they're not able to be with us. And this is where I was trying to shuffle papers to actually get to all of the citations. Uh, Julia Bennett Brooks graduated with a degree in French and psychology, and she is currently working in France. Hannah Alexander Dudley graduated with a degree in mathematics, and she is currently in graduate school at the University of South Carolina. Roxanne Sam Middlestadt graduated in May 2023 with a major in biology and a minor in music performance, and she was active as a tutor in biology, chemistry, and German. And um, since graduation, she's been enrolled at the Medical University of South Carolina. So we, and we induct those individuals in absentia. From the class of 2024, I'll shift papers again. From the class of 2024, Rahi Rajesh Amin, citation by Michael Cato. Rahi Rajesh Amin is completing a major in biology with a minor in sociology and anthropology and a concentration in medicine and the liberal arts. While at Wofford, Rahi volunteered at St. Luke Clinic and Spartanburg Regional Hospital, served as a chat counselor for the National Suicide Prevention Line, and was a volunteer tutor for a free online tutoring service for undeserved children. Underserved children. She was part of a summer research program with Vial uh, Cornell Medical School and presented research on healthcare disparities in urologic bariatric surgeries at the SURF conference. Following graduation, she will attend a summer research program at the University of Rochester Medical Center with their Strong Children's Research Center summer program. She was also accepted to NISCHEC Summer Academy, a training program about children's environmental health in New York. Rahi plans to take two gap years for attending medical school. She hopes to be a physician as well as earn a master's in public health. All right, one thing I forgot to tell you is let's refrain from applause until we have celebrated all of our inductees. <laughs> um, <laughs> The next, uh, the uh, next is Sarah Helen Buckmaster. Citation is by Dr. Pruitt. We will get this right eventually. No, we won't. Sarah Helen Buckmaster completed her major in sociology and anthropology in February. While at Wofford, she was a Wofford Sustainability Scholar and was involved in four grant-funded anthropology student research projects. These included placemaking and abandoned and condemned properties in Una, Saxon, and, and Arcadia, community perspectives and future neighborhood development in Drayton, and daily life in Prince Hall apartments. She also received grants from the Spartanburg Rotary for intergenerational after-school programming, Spartanburg Housing, and from SICU to fund ethnographic research in Spartanburg. She received the Paul Freire Award for Outstanding Community-Based Research from the Sociology and Anthropology Department. This fall, she began a cultural anthropology PhD at Emory University, studying the intersections of housing, community identity, power structures, and experience inequities in Atlanta. She's received a full scholarship and a Laney Graduate School Centennial Scholars Fellowship. Finn Chin, citation by Michael Cato. Finn Chin is a biology major with minors in chemistry and business. She has been a member, research and education director, vice president and president of the Wofford Asian and Pacific Islander organization. She has been an active campus citizen, serving as a Wofford ambassador, a peer tutor, a library assistant, an ICANN mentor, and a teaching assistant. She was a commencement marshal in 2023, then has received a Beacon Scholarship, which she plans to use to attend medical school following graduation. She aspires to be a physician. Tucker Hutchins Couch in absentia, citation by Boyce Lawton. Tucker Hutchins Couch is completing a major in chemistry. While at Wofford, he has been a tutor and lab assistant in the chemistry department and conducted summer research with Dr. Cruz 
in the biology department. He has been a member of Alpha Phi Omega, volunteered at Spartanburg Soup Kitchen, and was an assistant with Wofford's athletic training staff. He has been a member of Alpha Epsilon Delta and has held Benjamin Wofford and Philip E. Foster Jr. scholarships. Following graduation in May, he plans to spend one year conducting research in the NIH Intramural Research Program before applying to medical school. He hopes to become a physician. Matthew Philip U. Disskaya, citation by Michael Cato. Matthew Philip U. Disskaya is completing his major in biology with a minor in finance. While at Walford, he was a student volunteer at St. Luke's Medical Clinic and worked as a teaching assistant in physics. He designed and carried out phenomenological and biological research projects on human greetings and bamboo plant invasions on bird diversity. He participated in a chemical research group focused on modifying P1888 uh, molecules to combat harmful side effects of radiation therapy following graduation in May. Matthew plans to attend the Medical University of South Carolina with the hope of becoming a physician. Caroline Renee Doss, citation by Carol Wilson. Caroline Renee Doss is completing majors in English and Spanish. A member and captain of the women's soccer team, she has been a peer tutor, a member of the Student Athlete Advisory Board, a member of the yearbook staff, and a commencement marshal. She has received the Southern Conference Commissioner's Medal, has been on the SOCON All-Academic Team every year, and was an Academic All-American nominee. Following graduation in May, Caroline will attend graduate school at the University of South Carolina to pursue a Master of Science in Sports Management. She plans a career in sports and hopes to be able to support student athletes in their pursuits. Abigail Catherine Ellett, citation by Catherine Steinmetz. Abigail Catherine Ellett is majoring in sociology and anthropology with a minor in education. While at Wofford, she has been an orientation staff leader, a commencement marshal, and a leader in Kappa Delta. She has been a chaplain's fellow and a sustainability scholar and runs an after-school program at Mary H. Wright Elementary, the Chef's Club teaching 27 second graders the importance of nutrition, healthy eating, and basic cooking skills. She has shadowed teachers, interacted with students, and prepared lessons as part of her education minor. Following graduation, she will attend the College of Charleston to earn her master's in teaching in early childhood education with the goal of becoming a teacher. Kaylin Marie Eamon, citation by Katherine Steinmetz. Kaylin Marie Eamon is completing a major in psychology with a minor in philosophy. At Wofford, she has held the Palmetto Fellows and the Lori Barwick Scholarships, served as president of the South Carolina Innocence Initiative, and served on the Wofford Activities Council. She has been a philosophy preceptor and a teaching assistant in psychology. She has been an author and illustrator on two volumes of South Carolina climate stories. And as a psychology researcher, um, she worked on a project called The Emotional Carryover Effect and its relationship to slow-paced breathing. She also studied abroad in Stockholm. Following graduation, she plans a year of post-baccalaureate research in psychology before <laughs> pursuing a PhD in social psychology and she hopes to become a professor. <clears throat> Ms. 
John Elliott Epps, citation by Philip Stone. John Elliott Epps is completing a major in biology with a concentration in neuroscience. While at Wofford, John Elliott has served as the chair of the Wellness and Safety Committee of the Campus Union, as the academics chair of Kappa Alpha, as a member of the Glee Club, and as an ICANN Spartanburg mentor. He has served as a peer tutor in biochemistry, general chemistry, and organic chemistry. A member of, as I said, of the Glee Club, he's also played club lacrosse. He's done research with Wofford's biology department and in USC's cardiology department. For his volunteer work with Columbia's free medical clinic, he was named their volunteer of the year. After graduation this May, John Elliott will enroll at the Medical University of South Carolina, where he plans to become a physician. I'm officially old. My Walker classmates have children and by their academy. <laughs> and mine. <laughs> <clears throat> Mackenzie Ann Gavin, citation by Katherine Steinmetz. Mackenzie Ann Gavin is completing the Bachelor of Arts degree in Anthropology and Sociology and the Bachelor of Science degree in Psychology this May. While at Wofford, Mac has several scholarships, including the Eleanor Naylor Dana Science Scholarship and the Benjamin Wofford Scholarship. She has been a research assistant in psychology, examining the impacts of peace breathing on the carryover effect, and she undertook summer research on abandoned housing in the Spartanburg area. She was a sustainability scholar, assisting with the spring of 2003 sustainability cohort. Um, and she also worked on sustainability at Wofford, helping map plants on the campus and audited waste and recycling on campus. Following graduation, Mac will take a gap year before applying for graduate programs in clinical psychology with a concentration in forensic psychology. She hopes to become a forensic psychologist. Alice Austin Givens, citation by Philip Stone. Alice Austin Givens is completing majors in English and government with a concentration in American politics. At Wofford, she has been a member and vice president of Pi Sigma Alpha National Political Science Honor Society and of the Edward K. Hardin Pre-Law Society. She has been a member of Campus Union and of Zeta Tau Alpha. She is the government department's representative to the presidential seminar. She has held numerous summer internships, including one with Senator Jim Scott and one with the Fund for American Studies, where she was a research assistant for the National Association of Business Political Action Committee. Following graduation, she intends to enroll in law school at the University of South Carolina, where she has earned a scholarship. She intends to practice law. <clears throat> Joshua Hunt Gray in absentia by Voice Lawton. Joshua Hunt Graf graduated in December 23 with a degree in finance. While at Wofford, Hunt was part of the Reform University Fellowship, Wofford Ambassadors, Wofford Bell Ringers, and the James Atkins Student Managed Investment Fund, where he was an assistant portfolio manager. Among his scholarships, he held the Marvin L. Holloway, William Light Kinney, and Benjamin Wofford scholarships. After graduating in December, Hunt joined Regions Financial in Birmingham, Alabama as a commercial real estate market analyst. He expressed sincere gratitude to numerous faculty who helped him learn to fly fish, earn his real estate license, and learn Spanish. Meredith Estelle Hoff, citation by Boyce Lawton. Meredith Estelle Hoff is completing a major in chemistry with minors in mathematics and physics. She has been a member of Wofford's chapter of the American Chemical Society, as well as an active TA, tutor, and researcher in chemistry. She has conducted biochemistry research and is currently taking an honors course researching the concentrations of heavy metals 
and dark chocolate products. She has been a part of two undergraduate research experiences, one of which resulted in a journal of the American Chemical Society publication. Meredith has played French horn in Wofford's concert band and serves as an officer in Mu Beta Psi, the Music Honorary Society. After graduation in May, Meredith will attend Northwestern University, where she has received a Ryan Fellowship, a full tuition scholarship and teaching assistantship, and the National Science Foundation's Graduate Research Fellowship. She will pursue a PhD in chemistry and hopes to become a research chemist. Kyle Aiden Jenkins, citation by Boyce Lawton. Kyle Aiden Jenkins will earn a Bachelor of Arts in Chinese and a Bachelor of Science in Finance while completing the pre-medical track. He has been a member of HOSA and Alpha Phi Omega. Aiden has held Philip Foster, Benjamin Wofford, United Methodist, and YU Enrichment Scholarships while at Wofford. When not taking courses, Aiden enjoys powerlifting and reading about personal finance. Following graduation this May, he will enroll in medical school at the Medical University of South Carolina with plans to become a physician. Alexandra Aikens Keels, citation by Katherine Steinmetz. And this is in absentia. Alexandra Aikens Keels completed a psychology major with a minor in education in February. She has been a member, social media coordinator, and president of the Soci Psychology Society. She was also a peer tutor, a teaching assistant, and a research assistant in psychology, as well as one of the founding members of the Psych Mentor Program. She has also been a mentor at the Meeting Street Academy. A member of Zeta Tau Alpha, she has served as alumni relations chair and as head of the Judicial Committee. A Wofford Scholar and Palmetto Fellow, Ali has held the Seeger Scholarship in Psychology and the Tucker Scholarship in Education. She has received scholarships at both the Charleston School of Law and the University of South Carolina School of Law. Following graduation, she will attend USC's law school and plans to become a lawyer. Madison Noel Cutilla, citation by Michael Cato. Madison Noel Cutilla, Cutilla completed her Bachelor of Science degree in biology with a concentration in medicine and the liberal arts at the end of interim at Wofford. At Wofford, Madison was a member of the National Biological Honor Society, a tutor and lab assistant for the biology department, and participated in starting research on cold water exposure. She held the Lancaster Family Endowed Scholarship and Wofford and Palmetto Fellow Scholarships. A member of Zeta Tau Alpha, she served as a commencement marshal in 2023. In the fall, she will be starting a doctoral level program in physical therapy at Anderson University. She hopes to practice as a holistic physical therapist. Joshua Charles Lipscomb, citation by Dwayne Pruitt. Joshua Charles Lipscomb is completing majors in Spanish and philosophy. While at Wofford, Josh served as a, as a global ambassador for the Office of International Programs and as, co as a co-president of the Wofford International Student Organization. He received the C. York Lawson Cultural Immersion Scholarship, which allowed him to study abroad in Salamanca, Spain in 2022-23. Named the 2023-2024 Presidential International Scholar, he conducted research in Peru and Mexico. Following graduation, Josh plans to combine his love for languages and culture with a career in international relations, public policy, or humanitarian aid. <clears throat> Mr.
Grayson Parker McDowell, citation by Rachel Grother. Grayson Parker McDowell is completing a Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and a Bachelor of Science in Physics with a minor in Mathematics. While at Wofford, Grayson was a Bonner Scholar and received an award for helping the Spartanburg Science Center through the COVID-19 pandemic. As a Bonner Scholar, he has volunteered at Project Rest, a nonprofit for survivors of sexual assault and domestic violence, and Uplift, a nonprofit that supports LGBTQ plus youth in high school and middle school in Spartanburg County. He published the article, Some Properties Are More Essential Than Others, How the Meaning of Kind Terms Changes in Scientific Discourse in the philosophy journal, Simpliciter. He has submitted an article to the physics journal with Dr. Martzberger. Grayson has been accepted into the Master of Arts in the Humanities program at the University of Chicago. After a gap year, he plans to enroll there and aim for a PhD in philosophy with the hopes of becoming a philosophy professor. Emily Elizabeth Monteverdi, citation by Carol Wilson. Emily Elizabeth Monteverdi is completing majors in English and theater with a concentration in film and digital media. At Wofford, she was a brother of Alpha Psi Omega National Theater Honor Society and a brother of Mu Beta Psi National Honorary Musical Fraternity. She is a co-founder and the editor of Leaf Litter Literary Magazine, where she was the film and digital media student coordinator. She has appeared in eight Wofford theater productions and has credits as set designer, costume designer, assistant director, and dramaturg. Following a graduation, Emmy's primary intention is to pursue a career in theater in Greenville, South Carolina. She plans to enter the publishing industry as an editor and ultimately move forward with becoming an author herself, eventually earning an MFA in theater or creative writing. Michaela Porsche Peoples, citation by Michael Cato. Michaela Porsche Peoples is completing a Bachelor of Science in Biology and a Bachelor of Arts in Spanish with a minor in theater. While at Wofford, she has been a member and president of Alpha Psi Omega Theater Honor Fraternity and has worked as a stage manager and soundboard operator. She has been a member of Delta 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 has served as an athletic trainer and conducted environmental chemistry research. After graduation this May, Michaela will take a gap year to serve as a medical assistant while applying to medical or PA school. Taylor Nikita Pertima. Citation by Dwayne Pruitt. Taylor Nikita Pertima is completing majors in accounting and finance with a minor in creative writing. She's been an accounting peer tutor, a member of Reform University Fellowship, vice president of Wofford a la mode, and a member of Spartan Dogs. She has received Benjamin Wofford, Palmetto Fellows, and Marvin Holloway scholarships. This year, she has taken an independent creative writing course where she has been revising a novel. While at Wofford, she's also completed a half marathon. Following graduation, Taylor plans to attend Wake Forest School of Business to earn her Master of Science in Accountancy and obtain her CPA license. She has received a Wake Forest School of Business Merit Scholarship. Julia Marie Richardson, citation by Carol Wilson.
Julia Marie Richardson is completing majors in religious studies, philosophy, and Chinese. While at Wofford, Julia has been endorsed to complete an honors thesis in religious studies, watering a dying canopy, how Peter Berger can help us understand communication in a modern age, which she presented at the American Academy of Religion Southeastern Regional Conference. She presented her philosophy senior thesis, Why We Should, Hashtag Belief Survivors, Epistemic Deference in Cases of Sexual Assault at Wofford's 2024 Annual Conference on Gender. She led a 2023 summer research project revisiting novice level Chinese grammar explanations through learner's lens, which she presented at Saiku's Symposium and the Southern Conference Undergraduate Research Forum. She has received a James A. and Susan K. Keller Award in Philosophy of Religion and is participating in the Spring 2024 Presidential Seminar. Following graduation in May, Julia will pursue an MA and PhD in Buddhist Studies at the University of Chicago Divinity School, where she has received the University of Chicago's Ann Wedemeyer Fellowship. <coughs> Alec Cade Schrader, citation by Rachel Grother. Alec Cade Schrader is completing majors in biology and finance. At Wofford, he was a member of the James Atkins Student Management investment fund, serving as portfolio manager of the Fixed Income Group and of the Launch Entre Entrepreneurship Program, up Program Challenge. His business pitch won first place in the sixth annual Terrier Startup Challenge. He served in various roles in Kappa Sigma. He traveled during interim and spent a semester in Copenhagen, where he visited 13 European countries. Alec was a teaching assistant in genetics and a resident assistant for three semesters. He has held the Richardson Scholarship. Following graduation, he plans to attend graduate school to earn a master's in finance at either the University of Utah or Vanderbilt. He hopes to have a career in finance for a few years before exploring other interests. He also plans on pursuing music as a side hustle and wants to release a rap album within the next year. Anna Rush Schultz, citation by Dwayne Pruitt. Anna Rush Schultz is completing a, a Bachelor of Arts in Economics and a Bachelor of Science in Finance. While at Wofford, she's been a peer tutor for Economics and Finance, a Wofford Ambassador, and the, and the Special Events Chair of Wofford Activities Council. She has been a member of Kappa Alpha Theta and a member of Wofford Singers. She has held the Frank Machovic Economic Scholarship, Samuel Moyer Music Scholarship, and Kappa Alpha Theta Foundation Scholarship. She studied abroad in England and in Belize. Following graduation, Anna Rush will be working as a consulting analyst in the Forensic Valuation Litigation Services Group at Elliott Davis LLC in Charlotte, North Carolina. She hopes to eventually pursue either the Chartered Financial Assistant CFA designation or an MBA. Christopher Andrew Sellers, citation by Rachel Grother. Christopher Andrew Sellers is completing majors in accounting and finance and a minor in mathematics. While at Wofford, he has served as a resident assistant and a head resident assistant, as a Wofford ambassador and bell ringer for admissions, and a peer tutor for accounting. He was a member of the Wofford Activities Council and a member and president of Sigma Nu. He was selected for the presidential seminar, where as a resident assistant of the year in 2022-2023, was the outstanding Greek scholar in 2022-23, and held the Marvin Holloway Scholarship. Following graduation in May, he will work this summer for PWC's tax office in Spartanburg, 
before beginning a master's degree program in accounting at Clemson, where he has received a full tuition scholarship. He hopes to become a CPA and eventually return to teach at Wofford and help cultivate the academic environment that allowed him to flourish these past four years. Divan Shub Sharma in absentia, citation by Michael Cato. Divan Shub Sharma graduated from Wofford in December 2023 with a major in biology. At Wofford, he was a peer tutor in biology, chemistry, and math, and was a teaching assistant in molecular biology and genetics. He served as a Wofford ambassador and bell ringer and volunteered at St. Luke's Medical Clinic. He held the Charles E. Daniel and Philip Foster scholarships. He studied abroad in India in the spring of 2022, where he completed independent research and wrote a 50-page research paper, The Various Perceptions of Diabetes Mellitus, an analysis of the rural population belonging to the Nine Natal District in Uttarakhand, India. Another research project led to a poster presentation at the Association of Southeastern Biologists Conference in March 2024, he plans to attend medical school. Medical school. Godwin's Tui Shime, citation by Rachel Grother. Godwin's Tuishime is completing a biology major with a minor in mathematics and a concentration in data science. At Wofford, he has been a member of Wofford Men of Color, a major representative in minorities in STEM, an Office of Undergraduate Research Ambassador, and Alumni Engagement and Relations Chair of the Association of Multicultural Students. He has served as a resident assistant and a member and diversity and inclusion officer in Sigma Nu. Godwin's has also played club flat soccer, Following graduation, he plans to take a gap year before pursuing a Master of Data Science or Data Analytics at Wake Forest University, Vanderbilt University, or the University of South Carolina. He has received a scholarship at Wake Forest. He hopes to become a data scientist or bioinformatician. Brandy Rose Wiley, citation by Carol Wilson. Brandy Rose Wiley is completing a major in English with a minor in education. At Wofford, she has served as editor in chief of the Old Golden Black, a student intern for Wofford's Office of Marketing and Communications and has held several journalism internships for the Greenville News, the Spartanburg Herald Journal, and golawrence.com. She has won three South Carolina Press Association awards. As a Bonner Scholar, she volunteers at the Adult Learning Center. Additionally, she has worked at Meeting Street Academy since the summer of 2023. She was a commencement marshal in 2023. Following graduation, Brandy will attend Converse College's MAT program, where she has received several scholarships. She will continue her work at the Adult Learning Center and hopes to become an elementary school teacher. Will you join me in congratulating these newest members of the Beta of South Carolina chapter of Phi Beta Kappa at Walker College? I will now present a brief historical statement about the society. Phi Beta Kappa was founded at the College of William and Mary on December the 5th, 1776, as a student society devoted to the pursuit of liberal education, intellectual fellowship, and freedom of inquiry. The Alpha Chapter was forced to disband when Williamsburg and Yorktown were occupied by the British Army and were not revived until 1851. 
The society was saved by the continuous operation of other early chapters, notably the ones at Yale, founded in 1780, Harvard, founded in 1781, and Dartmouth, founded in 1787. The National Council of the United Chapters of Phi Beta Kappa was founded in 1883 with 25 chapters. Wofford's formal effort to obtain a Phi Beta Kappa chapter began in 1930 when President Henry Nelson Snyder, Dr. David Duncan Wallace, and Dr. John West Harris sent the initial report to the Phi Beta Kappa Senate. On January 14, 1941, the Charter of Beta Chapter of South Carolina was presented to five resident faculty members who already were members of Phi Beta Kappa. This is a most significant date in the college's history, recognizing Wofford's academic quality, its commitment to the arts and sciences, and the achievements and character of its graduates. The Phi Beta Kappa Society exists today primarily to recognize and promote scholastic achievement in the arts and sciences. There are 293 chapters, representing a small percentage of approximately 3,000 four-year campuses across the United States. Chapters are located at research universities with, strong, with a strong commitment to the liberal arts and at the most prestigious liberal arts college. Students, your initiation today as members of Beta Chapter of South Carolina Phi Beta Kappa is a recognition of your scholarly achievements in the liberal arts and your potential for future contributions to scholarship and to society at large. Congratulations to you initiates and to the families and friends who are with us here today. I will now ask Dr. Rachel Grothier who, to present an interpretation of the Phi Beta Kappa key. Oh, here's the key. This is a small key, this is a large key. <laughs> the Phi Beta Kappa key, the society's official insignia and emblem of membership, is one of the nation's most distinctive symbols. The original key adopted at the first meeting of the society was a square silver medal engraved on one side with the letters SP, the initials of the Latin word Societas Philosophiae, Philosophical Society, and on the other side with the letters Phi Beta Kappa. The initials of the Greek motto transliterated in the Latin alphabet as Philosophia Biu Cybernetis. Love of learning is the guide of life. A pointing finger and the three stars symbolize the ambition of young scholars and the three distinguishing principles of their society, friendship, morality, and learning. Later, a stem was added to the medal, converting it into a watch key. Before the form of the key was standardized in 1917, there were many variations of the keys of different chapters. The contemporary gold key incorporates all the symbols of the original 18th century medal, as well as the December 5th, 1776 founding date. The recipient's name, the name of the chapter sheltering the college or the university, and the year of election are engraved on each key. Oh, this is the 1776. <laughs> Uh, because the Phi Beta Kappa key is a symbol of academic achievement, it should be worn only by the recipient. The initiates will please rise. By election of the chapter and by your assent to its pledge and the placing of your signature on its book, the society's requirements for initiation are fully satisfied. I therefore, in the presence of these members of the society, declare you to be members of the Beta Chapter of Phi Beta Kappa in the state of South Carolina, authorize you to wear its key as a badge and to participate in its meetings. Congratulations. You are now lifetime members of the nation's oldest academic honor society. Be active in its programs and the community alumni associations, support its endeavors and lofty goals, and be a working advocate for the liberal arts in our society. It is now my pleasure to welcome you as members of the chapter. This concludes the initiation ceremony. We're going to ask the initiates to come forward for the group photo. After the group photo, Marco Linky is available for photographs with, with your families if you wish. But before you all leave, I would like to invite you to attend the Phi Beta Kappa lecture at 4 p.m. today in Olin 101. Dr. Corey Walker, who's the dean of the Wake Forest University School of Divinity, will be presenting a talk called With God on Our Side on Religion and American Life in a Secular Age. We would be honored to have you all. Thank you all so much. And again, join me in congratulating the class of 2024.